All right, good morning, everybody. My name is Nanette Lede, and I'm a teaching artist with Young Audiences of Louisiana. And this is the first session in our series called Tiny Explorers that we're doing in partnership with New Orleans Museum of Art. So we'll be looking at some art and learning about counting today. So the name of the lesson is called One, Two, Three, Count With Me. So let's take a look first at this, at this painting that we're gonna be talking about. It's by an artist named Torquavesi Dyson. And she's very influenced by water. She actually became uh, an open water certified diver so that she could have more visual experiences with that element. And these paintings that you're looking at are a series that are 15 panels that were commissioned and exhibited last year at NOMA in 2020. And this one is called, is from a series called Black Compositional Thought. And this, let me read this for you a little bit. She says that that term considers how waterways, geographies, and other spatial relations are inhabited by black bodies. So we're looking at this here. I see a lot of different shades of black and blue. She's also influenced by architecture and, uh, and the infrastructure of the oil and gas industry and physical impact of global warming. So her work is very relevant to the, what's happening in the world today. So when we're looking at this painting, there's a very strong diagonal lines going on in it. And she also uses a lot of different textures. So uh, as I was researching her, I was very interested to learn about her, her process. And she does a lot of large scale work. This one has a very, very strong diagonal line, a light line that's through the middle. What number do you think that looks like? Hmm, kind of the number one, right? Yeah. So these paintings are, uh, as I said, part of a larger series. And she speaks very eloquently about her work. If you look at any of her videos, she is always in dialogue with somebody, with other artists about the impact of black genius on the art world today. So let's go on and talk about counting. Okay, so our lesson is about ba basing foundational math skills for your young child, okay? So depending on where they are, one of the hardest things for them to get a concept of in the beginning is quantity. So they may just count numbers if they like the sound of them, out of order, but the idea of quantity is something that you can reinforce through everyday activities, like counting your steps that you take from the house to the car or when you're taking a walk. You could also do it by counting toys at bath time, like my rubber duckies. That's a lot of fun. But one of the best ways and the most fun ways that you can use your counting skills is when you're cooking in the kitchen. So if you look on your card, in the back of the card, there's a song called come into my kitchen. So it goes like this, it's a chant. So we're gonna use our steady beat. Come into my kitchen, everything is good. You can have me waiting and everything looks great. Come into my kitchen, you can smell the food. Everybody's waiting and everything is good. Come into my kitchen, you can smell the food. Everybody's waiting and everything is good. Come into my kitchen, you can smell the food. Everybody's waiting and everything is good. Yeah, so one of the things that we do when we're cooking is use our ingredients. I have a really nice book that I want to share with you here. It's called Today is Monday in Louisiana. It's by my friend Jonette Downing. And it talks about how traditionally on the days of the week, 
we eat different types of food. So if you're cooking something like beans and rice, you have to measure the rice. So you can talk about measurement as a way of enforcing the idea of quantity. You can also count the ingredients. So I'm gonna show you some things I have here. If you have a really small child, you don't wanna use props that are too small because they might go into their mouths, right? So these are pretty small, so they're good for children that are a little older. So I have here some carrots, one bunch of carrots, but there are one, two, three carrots in the bunch. I have some garlic. So I have one pod of garlic. I have some lettuce. I have one head of lettuce. So this is one to one correspondence that we're reinforcing that when you say one, the number will always be just one object. So that's a very basic way of understanding quantity. And of course, we need to have some tomatoes. Always use your tomatoes. Or you might want to add some <gasps> mushrooms. I love mushrooms. This looks like a portobello mushroom, doesn't it? Okay. You can also use something a little bit bigger, like my red apple here. The child is very young. This is really good to use something a little bit larger so that it's not dangerous. And of course, no meal is complete without desserts. So some healthy desserts are things like bananas, one yellow banana, or a nice slice of <laughs> watermelon. Watermelon is so good for you and so refreshing in the summer, isn't it? Or you could try some apple. This is a, green, a Granny Smith apple. This is good for making apple pie. I think this is the best one. Or kiwi. I love kiwis. They're so good. Or some grapes. Or maybe some oranges. So these are all good, healthy alternatives for your dessert. So another thing that you might want to do when you're looking in this book here is you can go over the days of the week. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we have seven days of the week. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fingers. Right? So you could do some finger play songs like Where's Thumpkin if you have a really young child. So let's close our hands and put these behind our back. So we have our thumb before we start, our pointer finger, our tall man finger, our ring finger and our pinky finger, the smallest one. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am, here I am. How are you this morning? Very fine, thank you. Run away, run away. So I just put my two hands behind my back. What's next? The pointer finger. Where is Pointer? Where is Pointer? Here I am. Here I am. How are you this morning? Very good, thank you. Run away, run away. So tall man has a very deep voice because tall people sometimes have deep voices. So we're gonna let him fly in sideways. Where is tall man? Where is tall man? Here I am, here I am. How are you this morning? Very fast, thank you. Run away, run away. Ah, the next one is Ring Man. Where is Ring Man? Where is Ring Man? Here I am, here I am. How are you this morning? Very far, thank you. Run away, run away. Hmm, we got one left. What one is that? <gasps> Pinky, who is very small, so he has a high voice. Where is Pinky? Where is Pinky? Here I am. Here I am. 
How are you this morning? Very fine, thank you. Run away, run away. So that's one song that's very nice for really, really young children. And if you look at this book, at the end, each day, there are more and more children at the table. At the very end, there is what's called the word menu. I love this part. So the word menu shows you all of the ingredients that are in the dishes that they talk about, like beignets and red beans and rice and jambalaya, and also has what's called a recipe for red beans and rice. So that's one example of how you can start to teach quantity by having your child help you in the kitchen when you're cooking. So I have showed you the bath toys. You can have your rubber ducks or whatever you have available to you at bath time. There are many opportunities that you can teach counting skills during the day. So I'd like to do a couple more songs with you that we can do use also by counting our body parts, right? So we have our head, our shoulders, our elbows, our hands, tapping on your knees, touching your feet, and maybe patting yourself on the back. So we're gonna do our steady beat again. And you can say, give me the beat, beat, beat. Give me three beats, beats, beats. Count to one, two, three. Count to one, two, three. Put the beat on your head. Three beats on your head. Two, three. On your head, on your head, on your head. Let's go to our shoulders. Put the beat on your shoulders. We have two shoulders. On your shoulders. On your shoulders, on your shoulders, on your shoulders. Put the beat on your elbows. We have two elbows because we have two arms. On your elbows, on your elbows, on your elbows. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. One, two, three. One, two, three. Clap your hands. Put the beat on your knees. Two, three. On your knees. Two, three. On your knees. On your knees. On your knees. Put the beat on your toes. <gasps> On your toes, we have two feet too. On your toes, on your toes, on your toes. Put the beat on your nose. Ooh, one part of your face. One nose is on our face and we have two eyes. Two eyes and two ears, two, three. Two ears, two, three. One mouth, two, three. One mouth, two, three. And Clap your hands. Give me the beat, beat, beat. Give me the one, two, three. Give me the beat, give me the beat, give me the beat, two, three. So that's another way that you can not only count, but go over the body parts. So as I said before, you can have many opportunities to count things, like if you're taking a walk, for example, and counting your steps. You might also want to count how many houses are on the street, how many blue houses are on the street, how many cars are parked in front of our house, any number of things like that. Everyday activities are a great way to reinforce this concept of quantity. And speaking of quantity, I have a couple of songs that I like to do for you with my ukulele. I love the Rubber Ducky song. So... I'm going to play that for you right now. And if you know it, you can sing one at home too. Mama Ducky, you're so fine. And I'm happy that you're mine. Mama Ducky, I'm awfully fond of you and you and you. Only one. Mama Ducky, you're the one. And we're happy. 
having so much fun. Robert Ducky, I'm awfully fond of you and you and you. When we have our bath at night, we have fun. We don't ever fight. Robert Ducky, I love you. And I know you love me too. Robert Ducky, I love you. And I know you love me too. Robert Ducky, I'm awfully fond of you and you and you and you and you and you So we're talking about one ducky at a time, right? So that's a really good one. That's a good standard. And I just noticed that the clouds are finally going away. So why don't we do the song that I really love, that I always like to play. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. sure had fun seeing you again today and I hope that you will join us for the other sessions in our series. You can sign up for all of them at once on the website link for Young Audiences of Louisiana and I'll be seeing you again in a couple of weeks with something called Opposites Attract which is really a cool idea and the artist is called Aliyah Ali whose work I really, really love. I'm already familiar with her stuff. So let's sing our goodbye song, and I hope to see you again next week. And thanks again from young audiences and our friends at the New Orleans Museum of Art. Let's do our steady beat. So you notice we're always doing three. One, two, ready, go. Now it's time to say goodbye. Say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, my friends. Now it's time to wave goodbye, wave goodbye, wave goodbye. Now it's time to wave goodbye, wave goodbye, my friends. Now it's time to goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Now it's time to goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. Well, have a great day and hope to see you again soon in the future. Bye for now.